Let me just prophesy to you for a moment. Your calling will crush you. That, that's, that's what we don't get. Like, that's because we, it's fun to show up on five-year anniversary. Like, whoa! But they don't know that it's been crushing five years. I'm telling you, if you're going to fulfill your, I'm talking about a God calling. I'm not talking about some dream that you conjured up in your heart. I'm not talking about some selfish desire to be great. I'm talking about when God puts a burden on your life, when God wakes you up, you better understand that whatever he's called you to, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. But that calling will crush you. It's going to crush your pride. It's going to crush your ego. You better get ready for your popularity to be crushed. You better get ready for your desires and your dreams to be crushed. You better understand that your plans will be crushed. Why? Because your oil is not cheap. And to get this oil, something's got to break. Something's got to give. He wants our lives to shine bright in the midst of the rubble, in the midst of the pain, but he says something's got to break. I want you to get the vision, Zechariah, because you see the golden lampstand, which I need to illuminate the temple. It's a prophetic picture, but please understand, I don't just have one olive or two olive. I have two olive trees that are going to be funneling oil constantly into that lampstand, but it's going to take men and women who have been awakened to the God dream that say, if I need to be crushed for him, his purpose, I will be crushed. Listen to me. Your anointing is on the other side of your breaking. I'm telling you right now, hang on tight. God's power is going to show up in the midst of your pain. Come on, somebody go ahead and give him praise right now. Go ahead and give God some worship all over this place. Go ahead and just make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Somebody rejoice today. It's on the other side of the breaking. It's on the other side that the anointing shows up. And when his anointing shows up, God super touches my natural and people step back and say, there's something supernatural going on. That's all I can tell you about Vu Church. It's just a supernatural move of God.